Hello everyone! Uh, it's been a long time now since I made a video last, but that's mainly because I am still waiting for posts that I actually would, won't receive until May, which I need to make the uh, oscillator and amplifying circuit to get it to work stable at high frequency, which is the next thing I want to do, but I have done some things in the meantime like testing to see if I can get some more efficiency out of the coils in terms of how I wind them and I have done that Oops. Uh, as you can see I've remade made this one which also is made from some new material that I made the frames from still packaging material so I haven't actually spent too much resources on it but anyways and I also as you can see tried with different size and what I found is that by repeating the pattern which has just been done only once on this one instead of just doing if you want more windings that can change the preference of the coil or does change the preference of the coil instead of just doing everyone this way first and then the other one uh, you do one each way and then you repeat on top of that so they get uh, layers as you can maybe see here and that when you have two or three or more than one anyways you actually get better somewhat better efficiency so this one works better than this one but after two and three the gain by adding more is very very small if at all the main change there is the frequency you need to use so this one actually works oh, depending on how you connect it but it can work on 100 kilohertz while this one needs seven eight hundred or something uh, the effect of using a smaller one is slight better efficiency it seems but other than that they work just as well and the frequency on this one which has three rep repetitive patterns like this has one four and three can work on 300 kilohertz, I believe it was and this one works slightly better than this one even though it has one less but it's smaller so it seems that smaller coils actually work a little bit better so the more layers of the repeated pattern and smaller coils it seems to me at this time makes the better efficiency. I have also tried as with this one to use thinner gauge wire. This one has actually four no five times that repeated pattern. Not easy to see because it's very thin wire. But that didn't really work. This one works worse than these two. Close to the same as this one though, so it works but it's not efficient I'm guessing because a thin wire high frequency and then you get high resistance in some sense but I could actually use some help from you guys if you have because uh, when I connect this coil to the um, Uh, oscillator that I have made at the moment that uh, to some degree works on 100 kilohertz which I said this call functions on uh, you get very much noise because then the coil itself interacts and with the oscillator even if I use a simple amplifying circuit that I have made. If 
very very simple. It still affects so then the signal to the coil gets very messy so the efficiency goes way down to the extent that it doesn't really work. So if any of you have any suggestions or know of any uh, not too complicated amplifying circuit that works and does not mess with the signal or when you connect the coils they still have a decent square wave on the input because that seems to be a problem at the moment so leave any comments there if you have any help to give me there or know anything no any circuits anything and that's it so thanks for watching and enjoy the rest of it Later, blessings, and see ya.